Hi everyone, I'm Anna with Am Equestrian and today I'm going to show you how to curry your horse. This is Jax and he's very dirty so he's going to be our model for today. So there's three different types of curry combs that I have. These two are rubber and this one is plastic. Jax here is shaved. As you can tell, I've clipped his hair off for the winter. So you're pretty much looking at his skin. So I'm not going to want to use my plastic curry comb because that's gonna hurt and be too hard on his body. The only reason I would use this is if he rolled in the mud and it was dry and I would literally just use it to get the mud off but I would not use any pressure so it wouldn't be hurting him. So I'm gonna go put this one away. Now, my other two curry combs are rubber. This one is literally a human cellulite co curry. I love it, I think it's amazing. And then this one is a normal horse curry comb. They're both pretty much the same thing, except for this one would get more dust off. This purple one would get more dust off because it has a lot more teeth, as you can see, and they're a lot closer together than this one. So, Jack's here is pretty dirty and you absolutely could have one curry in each hand and curry and get more surface area done quicker. But for the purpose of today's video, I need to go slower so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm only gonna use one. And because he's so dirty and dusty, I'm gonna use my purple one with a lot more teeth so that I get more dust up off of his skin. So I'm gonna go put this one away. So. When you curry your horse, you only want to do their main body. Now, what I mean by main body is their neck, their shoulder, their back and belly area, and their hind quarters. You don't want to do their face or their legs, unless if they have mud and you literally just do where their mud is to get the mud off and that's it. When you curry a horse, you curry in a circular motion. You don't go with the hair, you don't go against the hair, you just go in a circle, Jax. Normally your horses really like this and they will start licking and chewing or trying to scratch you, which sometimes that's okay, but. So, circular motion. The way that I do this is I always start at the top of my horse's body and work my way towards the back. I just do that so that I know um, what I have done and what I haven't. So I'm gonna start here at the top in a circular motion and work my way towards the back of his neck. And you can use a good amount of pressure with this curry comb because you're wanting to get all that dust off. So I'm gonna be pushing a little bit on his skin to get it up. And so just keep working in circles while you're going towards the back. So now I've finished that section, so I'm gonna start on this section. I'm gonna work at the top on my way back and down. So you're okay. Work at the top. Circular motion and then down their body. And I get their belly too, so you wanna make sure you get their entire belly. Make sure you get all that dust up off their skin. Now I finish this, these two sections, so I'm gonna move back towards my haunches. I'm gonna start at the top, and again, work my way backwards and down. So I'm gonna start at the top. I'm noticing, see all this dirt in my curry? So I'm gonna clean this out. Now, I normally just hit it on the ground or on the wall or something. And you can see all of the dust comes out. Most of it. 90% of it. Now, again, to start where I left off. Circular motions. Working down in his body. But avoiding the legs and the face. Okay, so I've completed this side, so I'm gonna walk around him, touching him so he knows where I'm going. Ask him to move over just by pushing him, and he'll move over. Now, I start on this side, I start from the back and work my way forward just in sections. So like, I'll start on this section, finish it, then we go to this section, then that section. Again, it's just for purpose of me knowing what I have done and what I haven't. So I'm gonna start on this section at the top, hurrying in circles. I'll work my way down this section. Sometimes you wanna avoid this bone right here because it's a little sensitive. So like you saw whenever I went over it the first time, he um, kind of flinched. So I just stay to the side of it right here and work around it. 
But now I finished this section. My curry's kind of dirty, so I'm gonna clean it out. And now I'm gonna start in this section. So I'm gonna start at the front in the top, front and top of this section in circles and work my way down the body. Again, my curry has a lot of dirt in it. Clean it out. Now I just have this section left, so I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down in circles. A lot of horses like this, it feels kind of like a massage to them. And he has been completely curried now because I avoid the face and the legs. That is a no-no area, so his entire body has been curried. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to see more informational videos like this one. And remember to always stay wonderful.